automatic mixers are mixers that have the ability to gate off, reduce, or control the level of unused microphones. They can maintain unity gain at the output by compensating levels depending on the number of open microphones, and they have the means to allow only one microphone to be active per source. There are two main types of automatic mixers, gating automatic mixers and gain sharing automatic mixers. Gain sharing automatic mixers are based on Dan Dugan's patented design. The operation principle is based on equally sharing gain across all channels. When a channel becomes active, it will receive proportionally more gain than inactive channels. These mixers may have the capability of avoiding adding gain to two microphones that are picking up the same signal. If we had two microphones connected to a gain sharing automatic mixer but none of them were being used, both would receive the same amount of gain. When one microphone becomes active, more gain will be applied to that channel while gain is reduced to the other. The sum of the gain applied to all microphones is still the total available gain. If we add more microphones, the operation is the same. Note that in this case, the amount of gain given to each microphone is less because the total gain needs to be shared between more microphones. When a channel becomes active, it will receive proportionally more gain, but this gain will be less than before for the same reason. It has to be shared among all channels. Gain sharing auto mixer has certain pros and cons. Noise level remains roughly constant as all microphones are always open. These mixers can be used for recording, broadcast, and live applications. But large mixers may fail to provide enough gain to active channels, first syllables can be lost while the system ramps levels, or may cause comb filtering when two microphones pick up the same source if the mixer doesn't have the ability to prevent that from happening. These block diagrams represent two channels of PyAMP's gain sharing automatic mixer. The first thing the signal encounters is a mute button. After that, the signal is diverted to the gain controller and the microphone isolation factor. This block checks the signal against a threshold to establish if it is a valid signal or not. The next step is to detect the level of this input. This level is summed together with the level of all the other channels in the automatic mixer and fed back to the channel's level calculation block. Here, the mixer sets a proportional level the gain controller needs to apply to that channel if it is active or not. After all the process is done, the signal goes through a level adjustment. This is done at the end of the chain to maintain proper operation of the mixer. All signals are finally then mixed together. Since gain sharing automatic mixers also work based on input level, proper gain structure is essential for proper operation and optimal functionality. These mixers are ideal tools for voice applications where only a few microphones are being used at a time, like distant conferencing, meeting rooms, and training rooms but they can also be used for live, broadcasts, or music applications because they maintain all microphones open at all times. Any microphone level control must be done after the gain control or gain sharing automatic mixer.